Hey everyone, it's Tattooed Simmer, and I'm finally back with another speed build. I know I haven't uploaded in a super long time, but I've been busy moving. My husband and I recently bought our first home, so I've been busy with that and moving, getting settled in, setting up all of my streaming stuff so that I could play and record. But now life is pretty much back to normal, so I'm going to try and upload consistently again hopefully every week, um, but we'll see, you know, you never know, life happens, so I, I do my best, but this time I decided I wanted to build a fairy cottage in Sylvan Glade, which is the hidden world that's in Willow Creek. You can access it through that crazy tree that's um, by the bargain bin house, and uh, you just have to talk to it a bunch of times and then do a bunch of things. You can look it up. Um, on the internet uh, where how to how to get through it if you want to access this lot and it's always got this like pink hue to it so I love building there the catch is the lot is only a 10 by 15 so building a house on a 10 by 15 lot is um, kind of difficult that's why I raised it a level so that you could have somewhat of a yard or a place to sit um, and relax outside underneath of it because there really isn't any space for a yard if you don't also it's obviously gonna have to be a, a super small house it's only one bedroom and one bathroom but I saw these llama corn statues that I put on the top of the roofs and I was like I'm just gonna do a fairy themed build based on these statues and kind of have them be the focal point for the whole thing um, building in this world kind of has to be fairy themed. I mean, that's, like I said, it has this hue of pink all the time. You can't change to day or evening or whatever. It's just always this time, all the time. Um, so it is kind of strange building here. Like, the swatches don't look exactly right. Um, pinks are more pink. Whites are pink because of, of the hue that's just around. So... Finding something that matches is a little bit difficult. I'm sure if you place this in a different world, it wouldn't look that great because I think that the that the sighting and the hues just wouldn't wouldn't blend well outside of this world. But I don't know. I have not tried to place it outside of this world. Um, and I also just love those little mushroom seats. I always size them up whenever I'm doing fantasy builds and put them like everywhere. I just think they're super cute because they come in every color. So if you're doing yellow, blue, red, black, there's even black ones. Um, it's one of my favorite, one of my favorite items in the game. Um, and I wanted to add some, some brick to this too and kind of have like little patio spaces so you could go outside. Like I said, it's a super tiny lot. So I wanted to try and co incorporate as much outside activities as possible, even though it's not really possible. I mean, you can't really have a sim live here. You can have a sim travel here, I guess, live on an empty lot, and then just never leave. When I built this cottage, I think I named it Llama Corn Cottage, yeah. Um, I did not know that unicorns were going to be a part of the Horse Ranch expansion pack. So... I'm curious to see if you could travel here with your horse and like ride your unicorn around in this lot because I think it would be beautiful especially for storytellers to like come here and take photos with a unicorn oh my gosh something that I'm definitely gonna have to try out when we get them um I don't know about the rest of you guys but I am super excited for the new horse ranch expansion pack um I grew up riding horses and showing horses um, racing horses, uh, it was something my family always did, so I was super excited when they announced this pack was going to come out. When there was the leaks, I didn't want to believe it, I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna believe something until I know for sure, because I don't want to get my hopes up and then get them smashed. So, super excited for the 20th and for all those things to come out. I'm also super excited for the update, um... Because in the new update that's going to come out on the 18th, so the Tuesday before that, we will be able to use um, 
the the free view mode um, and build so you won't always have to see me building from this top down view anymore um, because I built on console and I can't use mods I don't have access to move the camera and I don't have access to Sims 3 camera mode so I'm super excited that they're they're giving us that option it's gonna be super helpful for console players it's gonna be a lot nicer to watch my videos I think you won't have to just have this one view of it um, and it'll be a lot easier for us to take photos um, and screenshots of our builds when we're done um, before like to take screenshots of this I have to bring a sim to the lot and then go into like the first person view in order to see everything and take nice screenshots so that's gonna be an amazing and amazing update and then on top of that we're gonna be able to paint ceilings and I am always super skeptical when they come out with something like this. I was like, are we going to be able to use all the paint on the ceilings? Like, how is it going to be? But it's going to be exactly like it is on the floor. So any floor swatch works on the ceilings, and you can paint, like, if you want a little bit of a white, and you just want to have um, roof ceiling beam accents, you can paint that um, just in like one stripe on the on the ceiling um so you don't have to paint the entire ceiling at once you can paint pieces of it which I think was pretty cool and I uh wasn't expecting that part of it so I'm super excited for the updates that are coming with this new expansion pack as well as the the pack itself so just as an FYI from now on you might see a lot of horse related builds western style builds country style builds because I have a feeling that as soon as I get the horse pack, that's all I'm going to want to build. Because I used to be a horse girl, still love horses, just can't afford to have them. I'm just going to be so addicted to this pack. I've been addicted to Cottage Living since that came out, and I think that this is going to be worse. So, I apologize in advance for all of the country-themed bills that you're going to have to see from now on for a little bit. I, I, I probably will move out of it. It may take until Halloween um, or, or Christmas time for, for me to move out of building in the country or western style, but I promise I will get there get there eventually. Um, in the very top, I stacked these Batu lamps, which are one of my favorite things to do um, in tall ceiling things, is to stack lamps on top of each other to make custom lamps, and the Batu ones work really, really well for that. Um, they look so beautiful by themselves, but you can stack them on top of each other to make some custom ones, and they look even more amazing. So I'm finally starting on the inside of this build. Like I said, it's super small. There's just one bedroom, one bathroom upstairs, and then the kitchen and the living space is downstairs. Um, this video is already getting kind of long for just a 10 by 15 build so I decided to cut out the furnishing of the bedroom and the bathroom upstairs because I didn't think it was necessary um, to, to see that. It's, it's kind of nice to see how you furnish kitchens and living spaces in tiny homes because it can be it can be kind of hard but I didn't feel like it was it was necessary to show you guys how I furnished the the bedrooms. There are pictures of it at the end of the video, so you will get to see how I furnished it. I just didn't make it a uh, a part of the video. Um, I really enjoy how this build turned out because I love pink. It's one of my favorite colors. If there's two things to know about me, it's that I will build in pink, in any pink swatch whenever possible, and I will put a pond on any lot whenever possible. I don't care if it's a city home. A New York brownstone doesn't matter it needs a pond you know since that pond update came out I just like can't stop using it it's gonna be like the roof tool whenever we get that finally I'm just not gonna be able to stop doing intricate roofs you know like we're gonna have um, ceiling beams we're gonna have edges around the roofs we're gonna I, it's just gonna be out of control because when I get a new tool I can't help but use it um the downstairs in this house is super super small but i did manage to fit a double sofa and a chair and then um the kitchen and i think i ended up putting a piano in there but 
when I showed it to the gallery, I actually took the piano out because I was like, uh, I think I would rather have a dining room table with a laptop on it um, so you can do more activities that way on the computer and gain more skills outside of just a piano. Um, so I thought that would work out better. And also there was no place to eat, really, because it's a super tiny home. So I thought that made more sense than the, uh, than the piano did that I ended up putting in there. But other than that, uh, this was a super fun build. I love tiny homes. They're always a challenge. Um, but I love trying to set up the layout to get as much functionality of the tiny home as possible. I always want to utilize all the space. So let me know what you guys think of this build. Um, and let me know if you guys are looking forward to the horse pack as much as I am, or if I should keep building houses like this to try and conjure up fairies. So uh, I know that's a, also another thing that the community really wants is fairies. I think it would be a cool addition to the game, um, even building wise, gameplay wise. Not sure how they would do it, but you know, we we've wanted horses for a really long time, and and now we're here. So so we just gotta maybe maybe now that we have the horses, we just build things like this to manifest fairies. I think it's I think it's a good idea, but uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's on the gallery available for download, if you would like to download it. Um, my gallery ID is G R O A L I two two three four. It's not at Tattooed Simmer. If you want any of my builds, um, and I look forward to seeing you for the next video. Bye, guys.